Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Austin Code Cipher back again with another simple tutorial on web development. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a dynamic date on your website. Let's say you created this website back then in 2003-2004 and it is still showing those years or the year you uploaded it on the servers, let's say 2004. That would not be very good indicating to the users that the owner of this site doesn't update it or something like that but we want to create a dynamic date whereby it will be showing the current date when the user accesses it so let's say you created it in 2004 but still even in 2018 it will be showing that same year that's what we're going to be creating using php in this video and uh, in the second video I'll be showing you how you can achieve this still using JavaScript. Right now for PHP, to view this, you must be running on the server. Right now I'm using exam. That's why you're seeing this simple control panel here of exam. But still, remember when you're uploading your website, you'll be uploading it on the server. And these servers have what they call the Apache server. These Apache servers, they will still manage PHP. They will continue to read PHP and so on so I'm going to be showing you how you can indicate this year dynamically or changing it according to the year the user will be visiting your website. Now let me first reload and we get rid of everything. So the first thing we have to do is open open it up for PHP like that and then space then close it. So this is how you open and close PHP. I'm going to drop on the next line and we are going to create a variable. You can name it anything you want. So mine is going to be date. So this is how you declare a variable in PHP dollar sign and the name of the variable. So I'm going to assign it to a date function. Sorry. And I'm going to close it. Now below here I'm going to echo out a paragraph. So inside here you can write any HTML tag you want. So for me, I'm going to use this paragraph and I write the ampersand symbol, ampersand copy. This one is going to give us the symbol of the copyright. And I'm going to write copyright. And I said dot, so we are going to concatenate. Then I'm going to call the variable I called here, which is date. Concatenate it again. And I write Austin code cipher. So here you can put anything you want. So we end it here with a semicolon. Right now it's not going to give us. Oh, sorry, we had made an error here. So this one is supposed to be here. This space. Now. The date takes in like three parameters. Let me first comment out. We can put the day, the month, and the year. So inside these parentheses, we can pass in different arguments in the date function. Right now, we can choose any format. We have the day. We can either write it with a small d, then it's option you can put these full colon or the dashes then we can specify the math in double quotes then we can specify also the year so if you are to save this and preview it in the browser we shall be having this so we have indicated this date it has shown us that today is 9 April 2018 so this is how you can write them numerically but if you don't want to display this numerical stuff as you can see it's the original date just that the format has changed you can also now put month first the second and year last that's how it is displaying it here and this date all years they will go on incrementing incrementing basing on the day or the year the user has visited your website on so if you don't want to show the numeric figures you can change these to uppercases capital m 
and capital Y. Save that. And you'll be having today's Monday, April 2018. And as I told you, it will go on changing. So I have shown you how you can even put a full date, including the month, the day, and the year. But right now, for this case, as we said, it's going to be in your footer section where you're going to be displaying your copyright issues or documents like that. So we are going to get rid of all these and remain with Y. So look at what happens when we remain with Y. It will only show us 2018, copyright 2018, Austin Code Cipher. Very, very simple. So you will not always go back to your servers updating this date, updating it. It will automatically be updating itself using PHP running on your servers. And next tip, let's say you don't want all this stuff to be on your page. Let's say this is our page and we don't want, it still do not be visible apart from this echo link. Apart from this echo, that's what will be visible, but still we want it to be in a separate file. So on my right hand side here, sorry, left hand side, where you're seeing the cursor, I'm having a file called footer. So I'm going to click on it and I carry all this PHP file. So basically this is what I do on dynamic pages. So if we reload this page, we are going to be left with nothing. So we are going to put all this inside this file called footer. So how do we now display what is inside this file on our page what we need to do is write a simple php here opening and closing tag so inside here we are going to say include open parenthesis single quotes and you write the name of the file the file you want to include and we are going to say want to include footer dot php don't forget the semicolon and reload your website boom you will still be seeing your original copyrights so imagine you have many pages many pages you won't go on every page writing the same stuff so let's say we create another file here and i'm going to call it another dot php so i'm just naming them then we go on this same page oh sorry if you want to get the same information that is here or the same copyright details we don't need to go ahead and write the same code what we need to do is come and write the php tags drop down we just say include And we say footer dot php semicolon so if you are to go to that page called another dot php another dot php and run we shall still be getting the same date so imagine you have created your footer and yeah that's how we do it you go on just including it on every page on every page without writing the same code over and over again so guys if this tutorial was useful to you please go ahead and subscribe to my channel always like the videos after watching as you've seen it's very very simple very very simple so in case you are not happy with it i'm also going to be showing you in the next video how you can achieve the same details using javascript so javascript you can run it even on the server on the client side less on your computer so that's it guys i'm going to be seeing you in the next tutorial peace